Now, welcome. This is a part two of this revelation that the Lord gave to me. I, the first video, I gave a background to this revelation. So, this is what the Lord revealed to me. Uh, in my argument, I had a revelation, and then I saw a man who returned from, it's like he went somewhere, he just returned, and he took a pot of soup and put the soup in the fire. He saw the soup that it was souring, so he put it, dropped the pot of soup in the fire, and he was warming the, he was cooking it, boiling it, because it was getting sour. And the Lord spoke to me and asked me, Hosanna, do you see that this man is heating this pot of soup and he is consuming, he is destroying millions of microorganisms, gems, the Lord actually called them gems. He is destroying millions of gems, microorganisms in this soup, which are actually living things. I said, yes. And the Lord also told me, the soup has no life, but these organisms in the soup have, they have life. But because of the authority I have bestowed upon the man, he has right to destroy these organisms in the soup because of the inanimate food soup food that has no life. He wants to he's hitting them and he's destroying these organisms in the food that because the food is soured, he wants to still make use of this soup. And he asked me, How much? authority and power do you think I have over humanity? Now, let me tell you, the whole world is as little, is as small as this pot of soup you see here. They are, the whole world and the humans in the world, they are as minute as this soup. They are like these gems in the soup. A lot of people argue and they say that the world is to be God. Do you mean God is going to destroy the billions of human beings, the trillions of people that have lived in this world? Do you mean if everybody disobey God, God will cast everybody into hell? A lot of people try to be reasonable, reasonable in quotes, to ask those questions. And they say, no, God is... It's, it's not foolish. It's not going to destroy the whole world. That do you mean that uh, if only a hundred people are righteous, God will rapture those hundred people and leave the billions of people who don't believe in Him? What about the Muslims? What about uh, the Buddhists? What about those who serve idols? Do you mean that the Lord is going to destroy all of them? What about the Christians who don't? Who live in disobedience you mean God is going to destroy all of them the answer is yes Jesus said I am the way the truth and the life no one comes to the Father except by me now you as a believer if you think you are so important to God I want to tell you that you are not as important as you think if you do not count your soul as important to you to save it from the fire of hell, you will perish in hell forever. There are ministers of God all over the world who are preaching these sugar-coated messages and they tell you that God is merciful, that God will never judge your sin, that Jesus Christ has destroyed sin on the cross. So because of that, you feel you can live your life the way you want and not live the life of the kingdom. You still kill, you commit abortion, you commit adultery, you commit fornication, you still kill people, commit murder, you shit people. You think that you will enter the kingdom. If the whole world sinned against God, the whole world would perish. As a matter of fact, the Bible did not tell us that those who are going to make it in the rapture and make it into heaven, when Jesus returns the second time, I mean, his final return, 
second return. The Bible didn't say that there are going to be many. I know personally that a lot of people are going to perish in the fire of hell. I know a lot of people are going to be destroyed in the lake of fire forever. If God did give Satan a second chance, he will not spare this world after we die. When we die, it is appointed for man to die once. After that, it is judgment. Do you want to face the judgment of God? Let me stop here. Just watch your part three. And I will also share with you another, another revelation that the Lord showed me too. God bless you.